Hey, it's Glenn. It's 2021. This is the new Generation 2 Colour View. Let's take a look at it. Alright, well, I finally got my hands on the new Generation 2 Colour View. The model number for this camera is DS-2CD2347G2-LU. The G2 signifies Generation 2. The U at the end signifies that this model has got the built-in microphone. So be sure when you're looking online, etc., that you get the right model. It's still a four megapixel camera. Its form factor has remained exactly the same. So what's new about it? Well, what's new is Hike Vision have now integrated the AccuSense technology right into the heart of this camera. That means that we now have target classifications built straight in, which makes for super simple setup. By super simple setup, I mean that we've got the ability now to use the smart motion detection. No longer are you reliant on setting up all of the smart features like we were in the Gen 1 camera. We virtually had to turn off motion detection and turn on the smart features, which work really, really well. It just took quite a bit of time to set it up and you sort of had to know what you were doing. This one changes it completely. Now, straight out of the box, it comes with motion detection enabled and it's got target classification. Now, what does that mean? With target classification, you've got the ability to select the type of target you want the camera to focus on. You've got the choice of human or vehicle, which, you know, for most of us is more than enough. All right, so let's see how that new AccuSense technology is gonna help you in the real world. For this particular camera, I've set it up with a target classification for human. If I move my mouse, you can see that the camera is moving around here. I've also set the white light alarm to come on when it detects human activity. All right, so if let's just say this one is in your backyard and let's just say my hand is just simulating trees that are moving around in your backyard, shadows, etc. The camera is still recording all of these events, but it is not setting off the white light alarm. So now let's say that someone jumps into your backyard. The camera has a cl target classification of human and there you go, straight away. As soon as it sees my shape, detects me as human, that white light comes on. If I move my hand in front of it, no white light comes on. Now it's not just that white light that that camera gives you the ability to trigger. You can also trigger all of your notifications like that. So imagine you've got this set up on your front garden and you, know, you wanna know if a car or a human comes onto your property. Well, you can set up the notifications with that reliable detection uh, to come through to your mobile phone, only informing you when it sees human and or vehicles. So we really like that feature. The motion detection straight out of the box is configured to do the entire frame of the, uh, the camera's field of view. But now they've given us the AccuSense uh, selection criteria so you now are able to draw the exact shape where you want to pick up that detection which is really handy to filter out the road and what have you in the old version it was just squares and you know, it wasn't very precise this one is very precise and very easy to set up so the color view range requires light in order to produce that 24 7 color image now in most situations you're going to find enough ambient light to do the job Let's just quickly stack this up against a traditional camera that switches to black and white at night time. If we look at this hotel foyer, you can see that, yeah, we get a great picture out of the black and white image, but it's pretty hard to identify the person in the middle of the frame. Add to that the bounce back that we get from the infrared illumination bouncing back off the glass, and that image isn't really doing us too many favors. Now let's compare that with the 24 seven color image produced by this color view with none of the supplement lights on. And you can see that because there's enough ambient light, we get a fantastic, rich, full color image. That's very usable and also gives us the ability to identify that person that's in the image. Look at this lady here in the black and white image and now compare that with the color view image. You know, trying to identify and point that person out to the police, I know which camera I'd like to do that job. All right, now when we look at cars out in the real world, you can see the difference between the color view and a typical black and white camera. You can 
clearly identify that car so much better on the color view camera. But it's also got the added benefit of being able to view that number plate a little more clearly. This is not a number plate recognition camera. But look on the traditional camera how you get the white out on the uh, number plate. That's that infrared light bouncing straight back into the camera. With a color view, because we don't have that uh, supplement light requirement, you've got a much better chance of picking up details of that number plate. That's just a little bonus from that color view camera. Let's look at it in our tests in our car park. There's little to no light. We've got light about 80 metres away in a neighbouring property, but I can assure you it's very, very dark out here. Straight out of the box, it comes with a 1 12th of a second exposure time, which still gives us a full colour image in almost total darkness. If I ramp that up to 1 25th of a second, you can see that those colours are quite not quite as rich. Obviously, it's just not opening that exposure for long enough to fill the image sensor full of colour. So what's the solution? Well, Height Vision have always in Gen 1 and now in Gen 2 had the white supplement light available as an option for you. Um, the issue with that is that most people don't want a big white light shining out at all times. If you do, fantastic, you're not going to have an issue. So what's our choices here? Well, one of the great new features, thanks to that AccuSense technology, is the ability to trigger the white light alarm off that motion detection. So now when we look at the camera, we can see that I've got the camera set to be off in its default position, but then as it detects human, which I've set mine up to do, it will switch that white light on. Now, that not only helps us get a good picture, but will also act as active deterrence, because obviously if I walk into your property and suddenly the light comes on, that's a call to action for me to do an about face and get the heck out of there. Um, out of the box, this comes with a 1 12th exposure time, as I've mentioned. So the only issue with that is that we are gonna have around a second or so while the camera adjusts to all this light that's in the image. So what's the solution? Well, you just tweak that exposure time up just a notch. By changing it here, as you see, to 1 25th of a second, yeah, we're still getting a little bit of lens flare, but that happens so much quicker, and basically it's not a problem. So what's the alternative? Well, sometimes people are happy to have that white light on and we can still use that white light alarm feature. We can have the white light set to be on, but at a lower amount, okay? So you've got from zero, which is obviously off, all the way up to 100. In this situation, I've got it set to 10, but we still like that active deterrence feature. So when someone walks into the shot, this is what happens. You see that white light intensifies to the full 100%. So, you know, that's a nice win-win situation. I think, you know, for the front of your house where, you know, you don't want to annoy neighbours and what have you, you have it set to zero, no light, but only coming on if someone comes onto the driveway. And then in sort of dark areas where you, you know, it's not a problem to have the light on, do it like that, where you always have it switch to go from low to high, because that active deterrence is an excellent feature. Okay, I will be doing another video which will show you how to set that white light alarm feature up. Uh, believe it or not, it doesn't come standard in this camera. You do need a firmware requirement and there's just a little bit, of, a few settings that you need to adjust to get those features to work. As well as the one where I mentioned that the light goes from being low to going to full light. There's just, a, there's some steps that are required to do that. So head over to that other video and I'll show you exactly what's required to do that. So, as I've mentioned before, Color View is a series rather than a specific camera. Uh, this is the one that we have just reviewed for you today. But you can see here that when you look on the promotional material, they've got a small bullet and they've also got a large bullet. Now, when you look on the promotional material, they virtually look the same size. But I can assure you they're not. In fact, Look at the size difference between these three color view cameras. Would you really want that bottom one hanging off the front of your house? I certainly wouldn't. So that's why it pays to look at the specs, give us a call and we can point you in the right direction. That bottom one's a great camera, but probably not for a residential application. Now, if you're in the market to buy this particular camera, 
we've got a few choices for you. If you want it professionally installed, come and see us here at securityperth.com.au or if you're in Queensland, visit securityqueensland.com.au. For anywhere else in Australia or if you're happy to do it yourself, we now have just opened cctvshop.com.au where you can get Australia's best prices on all CCTV brands. Currently it's mainly height vision, but that range will expand over time. So make sure you head over there. Okay, so thanks for watching the video. As per usual, reach out to us if you've got any questions, leave your comments below, and remember to subscribe. This year, 2021, is going to be huge as far as what we're going to bring you camera-wise. There's so many new developments and cameras that I know are in the pipeline, and I can't wait to bring them to you. As well as that, subscribe because firmware updates, etc. you're gonna get little videos i'm going to make sure that we now put so many more support videos showing you how to do all of these things so if you subscribe hit the notifications you'll see as those get released and you'll uh, be able to set your cameras up perfectly okay it's been a pleasure speaking to you again today and until next time i'll see you then